Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another Top 5 video. And to start this video off, I just want to thank you all so much for the support that you showed on my last Top 5 video, which was my Top 5 favorite Call of Duty Zombies maps in the history of Call of Duty Zombies. And I appreciate the support you guys showed on that video. I mean, many of you disagreed because it was a little controversial of a list. Horizon Drock is overrated. But nevertheless, I thank you all so much for the support on that video. Today we're doing the Top 5 perks in Call of Duty Zombies, in my opinion. Honestly, Black Ops 4, all those like 30 perks in that game are going to probably be excluded just because I haven't played Black Ops 4 in like a year. I'll get back into that. But anyways, nevertheless, this is my Top 5 perks. Let's get right into the video coming down at our number five spot we have got quick revive and i had to put a lot of thought on this i literally thought to myself i don't even want to put quick revive here i would rather put stamina up here but then i thought about it all you out there think about how many zombies games quick revive has saved for us think about how many times we bought quick revive we went down on like round three i mean Usually when I go down on like round three, I just lose passion and I just restart the game. But think about the people who didn't restart the game. And then they went on and they got to like round 70. Just think about how many games this perk saved for us. And think about it. It's only 500 points. It's only 500 points and it gives you a second chance at life. And not only does it give you a second chance at life, it gives you, it gives you a third chance at life. And then you die again and it, it's there. It's always your, it's your guardian angel. It's just there. A third chance at life and you can just keep going. And well, then eventually luck runs out and it's only there for three times. But after that, if you go down four times, that's when you finally deserve to die. Quick Revive is an amazing perk. It saved so many of our zombies games. It's incredible. It's definitely earned the number five spot. Me personally, I honestly would take stamina over it. But again, I had to do this for the community. Just as the community, how many games this perk has saved. I don't care about the multiplayer feature. It's a great multiplayer as well. I mean, it's not quite as useful, but nevertheless, it's an incredible perk. It takes the number five spot. Let's do a science experiment. Watch how I two burst that zombie right there, guys. Now watch what happens when we buy our number four spot on this list. That's right, everybody. Coming in at number four, we've got Double Tap 2.0. I don't want that Double Tap 1.0. I want Double Tap 2.0. This is an incredible perk, because did you see that? I just one bursted that zombie lower body. What Double Tap 2.0? Double the bullet output. Double the damage. This perk is incredible, especially on the Giant right now where I'm playing. Obviously, its predecessor, Double Tap 1.0, was not very good. It really just made you waste ammo. But nevertheless, I just shot that zombie in the knee. In the knee, and I one burst him. That's incredible. Double the damage. It makes it so good. I mean, it just it's it's so incredible, especially on these just maps where you're going to rely on the Dingo, the Draken. It just helps so much, especially on this map. And just, like, who doesn't want to do more damage? Who doesn't want to do more damage? That's an incredible perk. And it's, it's earned this number four spot just for that reason, just for the damage, the double output. I, I just can't get over it. Like, you guys get it's such a simple perk. What it does, it increases damage, increases output speed. It, that's all there is to say. That's all that, like, how is that bad? How could that be bad? That That's incredible. It's earned this spot. Double Tap 2.0 takes the number 4 spot as I one burst that zombie. Ha! Coming in at our number 3 spot, we have got a perk that speeds up your life. That's right everybody, coming down at number 3, we have got Speed Cola. What does Speed Cola do? Speed Cola is just that perk that makes Call of Duty Zombies a much more enjoyable experience. It just... Look, okay, look at me. I'm just spamming my MA right now, and look how quickly I'm reloading. It, it's so much more enjoyable when you can reload weapons quicker, and then you get speed cool and double tap, and you can camp on the catwalk, and you can just spray and pray, and it's, just, it's so much fun. Now, imagine if that M8 was an RPD. Just think about that. Think about those LMG reload times cut down, the Wonder Weapon reload times cut down. It's so useful. Once you, you know, you, you run out of ammo on the clip, you gotta reload. If you don't have Speed Cola and these zombies are coming to corner you, you're gonna be like, this ain't good. But if you got Speed Cola, you have a great chance of living. Speed Cola, it's just that game that makes zombies so much more fun. It's just such a relief to buy it. And we all love it. Like, how could Speed Cola not make this list? Like, I don't think Black Ops 4 had Speed Cola, and that is one of the many reasons why Black Ops 4 is a terrible game. Maybe they added it later, but I don't know. Nevertheless, Speed Cola is incredible. It makes zombies so much more enjoyable and it's earned this number three spot coming in at our number two spot we have got a perk that when zombies hit you it will punish them and not you that's right everybody coming in at the number two spot we have got widow's wine Widow's Wine. Where do we start? It was added in Black Ops 3. It's an incredible perk. Watch what happens when I get hit by a zombie. He gets froze and he dies. He dies. He hits me. You think I die? No, the zombie dies. This perk punishes zombies. It freezes them. I think it makes you take a lot less damage. It basically makes you pretty much invincible. It's very easy to survive with it. The zombies, look at They're just all getting frozen. They can't move. They give you time to run away if you're corner trapped. You can shoot them and just keep reloading Widow's Wine. And if you play this perk right, you can... It just helps so much for the high rounds, for training hordes and then freezing them all, shooting them with a thunder gun, doing whatever. Widow's Wine is useful on all maps. Once again, it's in like every single Black Ops 3 map when it was introduced. Granted, I just went down in the gameplay, but that's just because I was acting stupid. Nevertheless, Widow's Wine is an incredible perk, and it literally is the Uno reverse card of Call of Duty Zombies. Zombie, you hit me. No, <laughs> I hit you. Widow's Wine is amazing. It takes the number two spot. If you use it right, it makes going down a challenge. 
Coming in at our number one spot, could it be anything else everybody, could it be anything else, we have got Who's Who. Now what makes Who's Who so good? Granted it's only on one map, what am I saying right now everybody? Coming in at the number one spot, we have got Juggernog. Jug increases your health, it doubles your health, everybody loves it, it's on like every single zombies map ever, unless you're playing Black Ops 4, getting Black Ops 4, why you gotta do us like that? But nevertheless, it's Juggernog everybody, it's gotta, it's earned the number one spot, it's, it's got a place in all of our hearts, is the best perk in history. If you don't believe Jug is the best perk in history, I wanna hear it in the comments, but nevertheless, it gives you double the health. That's it, it gives you double the health. Instead of making you a 3 hit in Black Ops 3, it makes you like a 6 hit. Instead of making you a 2 hit in Black Ops 1 and 2 in World at War, it makes you a 4 hit. And sometimes in World at War, it makes you like an 18 hit, if you hit the right glitches. But nevertheless, who doesn't want more health? Who doesn't want double the health? Juggernog is the best perk in all of Zombies in history. I think Widows is honestly pretty close, but nevertheless, at the end of the day, you gotta stick to Juggernog. Juggernog takes the number one spot. Thank you all so much for sticking through this top 5. If we have differing opinions, make sure to leave yours in the comments below. If you have any other top 5 ideas that you want to suggest to me, leave them in the comments. I'm going to try to upload a top 5 zombies video every Friday. I'm going to keep it up. Thank you all so much for the support recently. You're awesome. It's been Smitty. Peace out. I was talking to myself just the other day. I was hearing lots of things I never thought I'd say. But one thing I said really blew my mind.